long shot number one sold for four hundred dollars i was thinking well maybe that's an undervalued book no it's, it's going fast um nice. the the infamous red chair at this point had a had a run of books that i wanted to look at sorry there's one that wasn't x-men but this one was one that was like uh new mutants 98 is going so hot i wonder if deadpool one's got some potential mm -hmm. it's not crazy yet i mean it's no. probably back at its height yeah the movie but it's not nuclear is there any first appearance in that other than just it being his um, first solo or for blind owl many? <laughs> black uh, owl blind owl blind owl yeah it says it right mm. there blind owl and t ray <laughs> oh, Al! I, th I thought like that's Al, the like O W L, like no, no, that's the lady uh, in the movie. Uh, so, the infamous red chair, uh, Wolverine. I think this was on the the Spec Ten, wasn't it, or one of the other shows? I remember seeing it. The uh, yeah, I think no. a couple weeks ago. Yeah, it was. Um, I think the move is Major Poor. Um, uh, eventually, maybe the setting for Wolverine's introduction. So, hey, I've been trying, trying to get ahead of the curve yeah this, um, is a, this is a solid book um i tried dino i know bro nine six <laughs> that's oh. just because they're robbing everybody on those grades i know dude that's, ah, a, nine eight. Out of that's a nine eight book i lost track but the uh the the limited series is now a thousand dollar book so oh yeah here it is yep so uh you know that that other the the actual maxi series is kind of a, a slightly undervalued play and that storyline is something that's really not been touched on yet so could be good um this is actually down a bit this was actually over 700 last week so it's a tad down um interesting to me that this one's 700 dollars, and and some of the other ones that are climbing sorry i can't see all my images real well because i didn't really give him an order so i apologize as i'm jumping around i, I messaged uh, red chair dude on eBay to come on our show. He never responded. <laughs> we love it. Yeah. Um, he probably gets so many hits just because of the damn red chair. Uh, <laughs> this was another one because uh, we've seen the the McFarland's covers go nuts. This is another one that kind of fits in that classic image. Uh, you know, just a book that everybody probably remembers. It's up, but it's not crazy yet. So maybe one to keep an eye on. Um, I got I like a nine six. I paid thirty bucks for. This is for I Nico, do. just because every time I see this stupid ass book sell, I, I like to bring it up. It is finally coming back down after a couple thousand dollar sales. <laughs> uh, more red chair and X Men, uh, X Factor. I mean, what what was ice cold is now heating back up. Everything X is uh, is kind of on the board, man. Yeah, I mean. I remember what were twenty twenty dollars leg twenty thirty dollars back in the day. You can get those all day, all day. Did it? Oh, yeah. There, there was a point where after the movie, I don't know if you could give them away for twenty thirty dollars. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I've I've left them behind. That and twenty four, <laughs> right? Yeah, yeah. I started leaving them. It was just all. What's the fucking point? Yeah, I, I, I left a stack uh, at New Dimension. I don't know a couple of months ago that I, I've been kicking myself in the ass for doing at twenty bucks a pop. Now they I, weren't nine eights but they were nice enough that i should have paid 20 bucks a piece for them i they all it, have a like a mouse bite like it's a they're, it's a tough thing because they all have like a corner bitten yeah I don't, I'm, I'm sure it wasn't just one crazy mouse but like <laughs> that's what it looks it looks like the same mouse to no, I, I know exactly what you mean yeah. yeah um i i don't know anything i've been looking at books anything in nine eight if if it's a, even a second third tier hero i'm buying them if i can at, at a few hundred bucks uh, i less like the villains but i think you're you're okay with you know apocalypse i know uh sinister's going nuts i just it's freaking everything's going nuts man if it's a nine eight people are buying it yeah um second well first full of uh you know bishop is is moving up because speaking the, of new dimension i think i grabbed 50 copies of this for a dollar a piece Thank nice. you. Yeah, that was a that was an easy like spec play, and you were happy to get like ten fifteen bucks for them. I had the gold second print of the you know the next one, and uh, a nine eight for ever that just wouldn't sell, and it finally like I sold it for like sixty five seventy bucks or something like that. And these images for being so small. 
Um, I don't know. Uh, if you didn't see it, and I can't, I don't know if I got them to him. I don't see it on here. Uh, the 282, the standards are now breaking 400. I and a, those in here too. a new stand sold for, including shipping, it was just a tad shy of $700. Lord have mercy. Yeah. And if I stumble upon it later, I apologize, but I don't see it. So remember when we passed at a buck fifty? Oh, like we talked dumbs? about it. I'm like 150 bucks? No, nah, that's too much, man. I'm out. And I, I. Uh, How much are new stands going for? Uh, just under seven. Yeah. I know. A, I know a place. I'm gonna have to buy one tonight. Cheap. I, I actually, I have one in pickups. I got one at uh, a shop that listed a little low before that auction hit. So. Uh, let's see. Where else we got? Oh, this was a interesting one, and I don't see part. They got split up. This one was uh, first Evil Ernie ad, and uh, I'd never seen this one before. Art contest, comic careers, and it's got this artwork in it. So it's very cool. Hmm. It? Well, I mean, it's a it's not a anything. Who the hell would save such a thing? I, I'd never even heard of this one, so that that one shocked me, and I said, "Oh, God knows if we ever find it again." Yeah, right. You just grade that to grade that, right? <laughs> Maybe if, that, if they even grade it, I'm sure they would. It, it does bode well for my my uh, crow caliber ads that I never mm -hmm. see for sale. If, if Evil Ernie can do that much, man, the crow's got to be at least double. That's one of my all time favorite things I've ever seen. Z, I was so stoked that you put this on here, man. <laughs> I, you don't know where to look for it. I mean, I don't even know what the hell you'd look for that at. Yeah, don't worry. The next time it comes up for sale, it'll be 3K. Shout oh, out to yeah. Style Collector for the old 599 bomb. I like it. We appreciate it. Thank you, sir. Um, yeah, here's here's the uh, Wanted Comics special, but this isn't his, but good bang, lord. Bang, bang. 3K for an 8 fucking 5. Nico, you're looking smarter and smarter every week. 8 kind of that cool 5, label. guys. It's that label. Shout out to uh, the boys at Nerdbox for pressing my book. I uh, hope they get that sucker done quick, fast, in a hurry, and we'll get it off to CGC. You guys will get it uh, to see what it looks like. I mean, Sean, what an 8.5, we'd throw it back. Dude, I had a stack of 8.5s that were in the same bag. The guy didn't even have them individually bagged and boarded. And I was like, someday I'm going to regret giving yeah, these all back because I can't grade any of them. Yeah. And he was like, "Well, I'm only sell people one, so every con and I just buy one from them, <laughs> right?" But it was like, you know, but some, but I remember their times because it was the same guy, and I, uh, I, I'd, uh, I'd pass, and then uh, that's how we know. And the order was split with our other friend that has had more of these than anybody else in the world. So yep. um, I know it happened, and. Uh, yeah, and even um, I would I was pre-screening pressing so many of these that I only if I even thought there's a possibility of a nine six, I just I just sent them back raw to, to my guy, right? <laughs> and, and and I was just like, yeah, what's what's the point? And he just auctioned them off and shit. And yeah. Oh god. <laughs> yeah, and that that's it. Pro left pro left pro probably didn't press, uh, didn't grade what would it end up. Fucking half a million, Let's I'd not say. Talk about it. Let's not you know about what? It. I, you know. Well, they weren't mine, at least. They were, they were somebody else's. You know yeah. what I mean? So there's, but I mean, I've had, I've, I've had like five or ten or something. I don't know. I've had a bunch. I would buy them because I was like, oh, it's a good vibe. But like, especially those of us when they were finding them in the five belows and whatnot. Got it. We were always like, well, no, this just killed this book forever, and it didn't. I wonder what you could get a 2019 Bugatti for. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Oh God! Speaking of lots of books, this one intrigued me because I, I know the nine eights are selling well. Uh, this first Wolverine Deadpool lot. What's interesting is it's ten of them for basically forty bucks a pop, listed as very fine, not near mint. And, and Nico, and Nico, I, I saw one in Cleveland, one in Cleveland with Nico, and I'm like, dude, just buy it for like ten bucks. He's like, dude, I don't buy that crap. Put it back. I'm an idiot, I guess. I don't know. What I'm I mean, I about. know the nine eights are going for. 500 bucks but man I, 
I don't understand why the you'd buy a lot of very fines. Yeah, I, I'm in the same boat. It's so hard to get a nine eight. I think I have. I've been buying them for like five, ten bucks, and hoping for a nine eight. Saving my a uh, Spider Man twenty nine nine uh, foils. I've been yeah. trying to buy for five to ten bucks to get a nine eight out of one of them. It's just they're always one ding or two dings in this thing, man. Yeah, and in my defense, it was not a gradable copy. Well, I know, but whatever. Or else you wouldn't have gave it to me. I know. And you didn't buy it yourself. I didn't. No. So get the fuck out of here. Well, that's the next book. Well, I bought bigger books. Ah, oh, and then <laughs> Iron Man, five hundred bucks. Jesus Jeez Christ, Louise. Nice. Yeah. That's one that I just. I don't know if I slept you, on or just didn't care. Well, what do you guys think? I mean, is this like the one book on here that's maybe a buy? I don't know. This one. Oh, so, not. This one's so split up, though. That's the thing between the seven, the nine, the variants. It's uh, second yeah, prince. Yeah, I, it, it's it's. A and you don't know if she's going to be a hit, right? Well, she'll probably be a hit, but which book is going to be the book? Yeah. It's, I remember selling my variant of this cover thinking that I, like, made the greatest deal in the world. Huh. Ozzy had a shit ton of them, and he's like, that's a $40 book. I'm like, sweet, sell it. Now he's like, yeah, I, fucking I, hate I, you. <laughs> I Dude, the sevens and nines, like, I, I kind of, they weren't hard to find. No. Years ago, and I, I started, I left, I started leaving those too. If they were marked up to like ten bucks or something, oh, nah. Eh. Well, and the transition from seven to nine has been kind of wild, right? Yeah, seven, seven was the book, unquestionably, in all circles. Um, game changed. Yeah. Which has the WAP variant? Is it seven or nine? Seven. Yeah, seven. I pulled two of those out, of, unbagged out of a dollar bin, nice. at a con. It's the craziest thing in the world. I know there's like should be variants in there, but with like. Hey, all pulled, the- like the Psylocke JSC uh, by X Men five ten out of there. Two of them, one I got a nine eight on, and I'm like, jeez. Hey, all, all it's gonna take is one. all it's gonna take is a whale to start buying sevens, and seven will pass nine again. It- yeah, it's it's a who knows, man. Yep. Yeah. Um, at this one just had to show because why why not? It, everything else is crazy. I know there's no appearances, but this is you know one of the covers. It's slowly climbing. I just wonder if at some point it's gonna it's gonna hit that thousand dollar mark. Just hey, I got one of those too. Everything you know else is. You know what's wild is the newsstand for this is profoundly inexpensive compared to uh, late market newsstands of Marvel books. Oh, Marvel newsstands are nuts. Now you can't find a nine eight newsstand of Tech eight eighty, but there's a nine six that just sits on eBay all the time. Huh. And every time I like I. Somebody talks about this book. I'm like, should I go buy that newsstand? And then I don't do it. I keep thinking about DC, thinking, man, uh, Marvel is so hot. At maybe I need to look at DC, but I just, I just can't figure out though. Is it not a buy? Because it's never going to be a buy. So like, book like this is is steadily moving up, but it's you know you start thinking about the characters and you're like, what's it? I hate to say it for DC books, especially if you go back to the 880 for a minute. Um, like, it's so hard to get a 98. I just buy the 98 right now because good luck trying to sell them. Because I know yeah, I have one. Brian has one. Just they're not yeah. giving them. Yeah, I subbed one, sold it, and will never forgive myself. And now I'll probably never have an I made because I won't show off the money. Uh, Ozzy bought one recently, and I was like, you know what? I don't often think you make good purchases, but that was a good one. Yeah, good point. Um, and I think uh, what do we got here? Oh, one more fucking X book. Another. Uh, this isn't even a newsstand, so I, I don't know. Well, yeah, and there was a newsstand that sold for, what, like $700 or Pretty something much. crazy? At least I can understand a newsstand, because it's a newsstand, those get crazy I, prices. But I do, I, do I buy a newsstand of this raw for 10 bucks? you think? I yeah. would, yeah. I wouldn't even have, like, to me, this was a $50 9.8 forever, maybe 75 and you're like, you're, people are paying 500 bucks now. A couple more market report stuff. Uh, I want to show you guys this. If you guys aren't following Ken Golden on IG, he is uh, one of the Baller. best, yeah, card guys to follow. He he's the guy that uh, didn't he own classic game uh, cards back in the day, Stein. Anyway, he does golden auctions. He's been in the card game forever. Um, these are some of the prices that from his auction over the weekend. This Akuna uh, got three hundred seventy three thousand three hundred seventy thousand dollars for this uh, Bowman first Akuna red. I think it's. Number to five, I think the reds are. I think this is one of five. Um, yeah, got them. Uh, a uh, look at this Jay Z. It went for more than eighty six thousand because that was the current bid. But that Jay Z card was crazy. This Mike Trout rookie 
went for 136,000. This is a gem at 10, the target red border. Damn. Yeah. Dude, I see the diamonds going for crazy too. We'll yeah. talk about that in a second. Here's two trouts, uh, two, not two trouts, one trout that sold in uh, tw tw uh, December of 2020 for 30,000, just sold for 105, 105,000, uh, almost $106,000. And I'm going to say, I'm going to cut you off there. Mike Trout just signed the biggest, longest deal in LA Angels history. So he, he isn't going anywhere. Wow. Really? What did he sign it for? Uh, I don't know the exact numbers, but. Jesus. Yeah. Well, yeah, well, not Trump cards coming up. Here's that beautiful Jay-Z card. How crazy is that? That'd be a sweet card to own. Uh, Tops Chrome. I don't know what it is from, though. It's crazy. Uh, but anyways, this Kobe is absolutely gorgeous. Uh, this is from the 2019-2020 um, uh, Panini Prism uh, set. And this card went for, let me give you the number on this, 125, almost $125,000. Crazy. Wow. Absolutely nuts. So a lot of really crazy uh, basketball, I mean, card stuff going on. Um, what, some of the stuff that I wanted to bring up tonight, though, I want to get a little bit crazy. Let's get into some action figure and some toy stuff. So this was interesting. This was all sold from uh, one site. This is Lee's Collectibles. Anybody who's into toys knows Lee's Collectibles. I didn't realize they had an eBay store, but this uh, sold this week. Um, these are the infamous to turtle troll dolls. Uh, you can see the money that they're going for out fucking rageous. Um yeah, so make sure you guys, if you guys even have any, these opened, these things sell for ridiculous amounts. Uh, here you go, all of your, your Ghostbuster fans that grew up uh, with the Ghostbusters cartoon. Uh, you remember, I remember this, my brother loved this this whole set. Uh, this is a opened, played with set of the Proton Pack, the PKE meter, the, the Ghost Trap, um, the watch, everything for $255. I sold the PKE meter oh alone for like 175 like six months back or something. Jeez. Here we go, Muscle Man. Shout out to Peter Renna. Make sure you guys are following Renavision. He did a really cool uh, short video on Muscle Men. Uh, oh, I call wow. them Muscle Men. They're called Muscles, uh, but I call them Muscle Men. I think most kids that grew up with them call them Muscle Men. This we is an unopened, <laughs> yeah, unopened 10 pack trash can of the multicolored version. So if you remember, the, 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 just the pink ones were out forever and then they brought out the multicolored. I always like the pink ones better, but I don't know which one sells for more. This sold for 166 bucks for a 10 pack oh. trash can. Goodbye. Pretty cool. Right? Goodbye. I love it. Um, this right here is very interesting. This is uh, from the Star Wars uh, comic pack, Star Wars Legends comic pack. This is the uh, XR Coon and um, I don't know how to say that, Kel Dorma. And just the loose XR Coon sold for $325. 48 Jesus. Jeez. A, a lot of open comic pack figures sold uh, this last week for just crazy amounts. Can I and mention that I never see these? unopened and i wouldn't know how to recognize them if they were opened uh, I but i just never you. see them i see action figures like in tubs dude i'm like i don't even want i don't even look dude i'm like you're are there graded action figures yes yes yeah. afa action figure authority they grade them loose and and carded they're really expensive though 85 is the highest right uh or afa 85 it? no i'm not sure that's a good question that's not sure i'm not sure okay i'm sure somebody in the chat knows um, so yeah, this is crazy, crazy stuff. Absolutely amazing. Here's another uh, turtle stuff. Uh, this is the uh, not even carded or, or unopened. This is Krang uh, with the Android body. I have the Android body. I don't think I have the Krang figure. I got to find it. But this sold for one hundred sixty-one dollars open and played with, obviously. Nice. Damn. Yeah. All right. So this was interesting. Uh, for G.I. Joe fans, you don't, I don't even have to explain this to you. You see a uh, Cobra Commander figure going for $300. You think, what the hell is going on there? And then you instantly know what it is. Uh, for G.I. Joe collectors, they know about the Mickey Mouse Cobra Commander. So you guys see the blue Cobra Commander with the face shield. Uh, the early, I think it's the earliest versions had a paint issue on the Cobra emblem on the chest. And if you look at that paint emblem, it looks like a Mickey Mouse instead of a Cobra head. 
If you see this figure in the wild, pick it up because it sells for a lot of money, even in tough condition, even in, huh. you know, falling apart condition. So make sure you guys uh, keep an eye out for the Mickey Mouse Cobra Commanders. And there you guys can see. Brian's what really, really smart. Yeah. yeah, you like this stuff? Um, is it just on that it, one yeah. figure? Or it is just on this one Cobra figure. It's the, called the Mickey Mouse Cobra Commander. So uh, keep your eye out for that. Um, very cool stuff. Uh, here is another turtle thing. This is the Universal Monsters. I thought this was interesting. This is uh, $405 open. He had all the accessories and everything. I love finding out about these rare, loose turtle figures. Uh, you know, I talked about it with Paul about it all the time whenever I pull these up that, uh, you know, these are the type of things that, like Dino was saying, you find in the tubs. Yeah. So um, here is a uh, another G.I. Joe goodie. So this is the uh, G.I. Joe Sky Patrol Sky Raven, which instead of being all black like the initial uh, Sky Raven was, or Night Raven, it was called, I believe. Um, it is all silver, painted foil, kind of like silver, shiny silver. And uh, it was towards the end of the G.I. Joe run. It was really rare. They were hard to find. Um, and all of these Sky Patrol, like, painted uh, uh, there, there's a shark that's painted this way. There's a couple other uh, vehicles painted this way. They're hard to find. This guy had it in the box, still open, played with. Had all the accessories sold for almost $1,000, $910. Not bad for an open G.I. Joe vehicle. So keep keep your eyes open for the shiny uh, G.I. Joe ones. Also keep your eyes open for the dark black and bright orange accessories on these open vehicles. If you find any of those, those are the night vision uh, vehicles that are just as hard to find. So they're all black with uh, neon orange accessories. All right, here we go. Let's get into some wrestling stuff. You got uh, super wrestling superstars, Hulk Hogan, uh, uh, carded, sold for 560 bucks. Uh, here's some more of that. Uh, you got the Razor Ramon, sold for 350 and a 123 Kid opened, sold for 750 I, I got to go downstairs. I actually might have that one. Dude, what a terrible oh, figure that is. Look how horrible that one looks. That's brutal. That's bad, dude. That's I would love... That's X Pac, right? Yeah. Uh, one, two, three, kid. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I would love to have the Razor Ramon. That would be one figure I would love to have. You know, hanging. I might out have him downstairs. Dope stuff. I man. got a whole Very bunch cool. of those sets, man. Uh, one toy that I talk about a lot that people would say, "What the fuck are you talking about?" Is Army Ants. Army Ants were cool as hell. I remember them when I was a kid. Here is a set of them uh, sold for one hundred and twenty-two fifty. So any of you guys have any of those old school Army Ants, uh, put those ones out because uh, they sell for quite a bit. It looks like. 